Leon County Public Library. Uh, Y'all have seen the video already today. Wants me to do this. Uh, none of these people are willing to uh, let a judge hear this. So I think what I'm doing, I'm going to. I don't believe that the administration had anything to do with the trespass order. It's also open ended. He doesn't quote a statute. He gives me documentary evidence of a tyranny, is what that amounts to. So I'm going to call them on that, and I'll risk going to jail because going to jail will allow me to to call witnesses. And guess who's getting called as a witness? Well, there's a list of people, but I'll take that. I'll exchange. I'll take the hit of a trespassing charge that will be dismissed as soon as the judge hears it in exchange for put getting you guys under oath uh so we'll do that uh also i want to reach out to my my fraternity brothers in that picture uh fall 90 i mean that was in that picture but i can't see i can't see it because uh I can't see what that I'm where I'm at in the picture because my mom is her she's busily going to Tallahassee right now to repossess the car that I have title to that if you just listen to that second bit of the audio there uh, it's right there go ahead and listen to it I mean I nailed them I mean they're caught they're exposed the dude gives me uh, he gives me documentary evidence of them just assuming the function of the judiciary like he's the judge also and hands down his sentence uh i'll risk going to jail i mean okay it'll get like no prosecutor is going to take it because i've got the best of defenses because i didn't know uh but i'll risk that to get you on the stand and this is just actually when they do all this bullshit to me when it, you know it's just been a series i mean anybody that looks at it will see it's been a series of, they wouldn't need to do all this if they just, I mean, all they have to do is just tell Jay, hey, Jay, it's okay to talk to Lance. Just show him the, you know, just, it's okay to talk to Lance. That would, it would cost nothing, but they won't do it. They had to do shit like this, get me trespassed off of FSU, the entire thing, for some uh, un, as, as yet undetermined reason. But we're going to find out that reason because I'm just going to highlight this. And I mean, this, what a powerful weapon. This is just, just imagine. I mean, my mom's over there trying to have me arrested and shit. Uh, it would have worked, but for something like this, plus that I know the law a little bit now more. Uh, so I'm willing to go, I'm gonna go challenge them because I'm going to the law school over there. I'm going to go to that public advocacy because that's what this shit is made for. It's for things like this and they'll love this. This is the second incident in two weeks, I believe. Uh, the police, I mean, you, these guys are just out there issuing rulings. It's like, well, how is that different than like a tyranny? That's exactly what they do in a tyranny where they just determine that you're guilty and then back up from there. And it doesn't really matter because they own the court. So we have that thing going on here when he just issues a ruling that I'm guilty and uh, isn't worried about the fact that I believe there's a conspiracy against me and I can show it and uh, nobody's willing to come out from under their desk to talk about it. I mean, that's pretty good. I've explicitly accused Burke Blue and let me do repeat that again here today. I'm accusing Burke Blue of fraud and that is spelled F-R-A-U-D. Okay, so uh, we can just take it from there. And uh, I will be back. I'm going to go walk around. See, I'm going to try to get in touch with my fraternity brothers. Uh, like, the guys in the picture, they should be coming to my rally. And guys, beta, beta, pa, bro, help me out. I'm in a pickle. But, I mean, the more that you see, the more you'll believe me. And I'm going to share, like, uh, the entire package uh, of evidence so like even if I get killed which I did have a damn knife pulled on me last night but I'll get into that later some dude like uh, stole a dollar from me and I 
like I was gonna, I was ready to fight, or if he wanted to, but he had to pull a knife. Anyway, I digress. Uh, right now, my mom just took away my, my transportation, all my belongings, uh, uh, my glasses. I can't fucking read right now, so that's awesome. I mean. I don't know if they'll actually do it now that they're probably catching word that it's not such a good PR move to do all this, but they got caught, they got nailed, because uh, I eluded the capture this morning. I mean, eluded it with my brain, not with my 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 uh, sprinting ability. Uh, I nailed him. I said, uh, let me talk to a lawyer. And I know that... <laughs> lawyers i have a mixed opinion of them now but that's another day <clears throat> anyway i think we're live here if i'm not mistaken i might have some followers going there uh this is live baby i'm not crazy either what's crazy is that my mom's driving across to tallahassee to get my car taken from me that's crazy yeah i mean has when's the last time y'all's mom has done that to y'all when y'all were out of town somewhere anyway so check i mean i'm I'm, uh, I'm honored that so many people are sitting here watching me. That's cool. That really is cool. And uh, I'm going to do this again. This is my first time doing something like this. And uh, thank you all for watching.